Behaviors in the Sandbox Game Maker are designed to interact with each other and easily set up ecosystems for your games to immerse players. A couple of these are set up to happen automatically when the right kind of entities are near each other. Plants sit at the bottom of the food chain waiting for farmers to gather them or herbivores to get hungry and eat. Herbivores, citizens, farmers, and healers will roam around within their allowed areas until they are attacked. Predators will search out whatever prey they are sent to hunt. Fighters will go looking for a battle, and healers will give aid to their allies. Entities can be set to target, help, or ignore the avatar. But this is all just the beginning of how things can interact in your world. The sandbox allows entities to communicate instructions with messages. Some behaviors and components will wait to perform certain actions until they hear a message from another object. Pushing a button can broadcast a message to multiple objects in an area, or send a message directly to a specific one. Instead of having a player directly interact with the door to open it, push a button to activate the door remotely. The message broadcaster behavior will announce itself at a set interval, which could be used to make an action happen periodically, like spawning a new animal every 30 seconds. Message broadcasters can also be waiting for another message to trigger them, so you could carry a broadcasting item with the pickable component to another broadcaster, which could set off a whole chain of broadcasting events. You can even attach broadcasting items to the avatar, so the player's presence can set off events. The bottom left button will open the hierarchy panel. This is a list of every object on the map. Dragging an entity onto another will make the first a child of that object. Wherever the parent object goes, the child will follow. You can attach an invisible crate to the feet of the avatar, make the crate broadcast the kill message for enemies, and jumping on their head will squish them like a classic platformer. Use the same message to set off asset spawners that spawn a void object for insta-death traps. In the properties panel, turning on the local coordinate switch will show a child's position relative to its parent, instead of its global position on the map. What sort of interactions do you think you can create? Share your ideas with our busy Discord community linked on the dashboard.